On yesterday, it was the last day we got to live through Barack Obama as our sitting president of the United States. More importantly and more saddening is that yesterday was the last day Michelle Obama was the and our first lady of the United States. <sighs> The past few weeks, there's been a ton of discussion about the legacy of Barack Obama. Most notably, his interview with Tiny Heasy Coates for the Atlantic cover story, My President Was Black, where Obama discusses his black identity, how he chose to fall into it as an interracial child who grew up with his white mother and grandparents in Hawaii, and how that differs from the choice Michelle never had about her blackness. And therein lies one of the more significant aspects of the past eight years. That Michelle LaVon Robinson Obama was and is a thorough, down to the bones, black woman. If Barack's wife had been an Aunt Viv number two, he would not have been our 44th president. Her relaxer, that silk press is laid and slayed to the gods, but we've seen that high school graduation pic to know that she understands the blessings and the detangling blues of type four naturals. She's not a silky, baby hair down, light eyes, or whatever features skew on the spectrum towards Europeanness that we so often see in our first, where colorism has allowed a privilege for some, Michelle rising up from the south side of Chicago stands at the opposing end. And for the past eight years, we've gleaned inspiration from Michelle Obama being the first lady of the most powerful nation in the free world, living in a house that slaves built and standing next to a man that holds so much sway over the entire world as he looks into her eyes, dazzling, sparkling. Remember when your aunties told you the best relationship is to find a man that loves you more than you love? Oh, seems shady, contrary, but we get it. Her outfits were yes, it's worthy. Her hair had the right bob. Her eyebrows, it takes, it's still taken, has took all of us a moment to get there, and she got there, transforming into fleekness. Beyond just the visual, Michelle is educated with a bachelor's from Princeton and a JD from Harvard. She was career focused, and Barack met her when he was her intern, and she went on to make quite a bit more money than him while being a mom to two beautiful girls. There's so many things to take from this as black women are constantly talked down at about being submissive, compromising, not focusing too much on your career, like we are incapable of balancing career, love, and family. Michelle in the White House has been an act of grace. She's had the switch turned on for the eight years. That code switch we turn on when we're the only brown face in the sea of white. But she doesn't get to leave this at five o'clock. And there was no cubicle for her to hide in or headphones for her to throw on and block everyone else out. You know how we do in the office. She was in the spotlight giving us the blessings of seeing black love, black music, black family, and black joy. Scandal free in the White House. Black parents have been able to get their children interested in politics and community because they woke up every morning to an image of themselves in the White House. Not an image that was beleaguered or downtrodden, but one of poise and strength. Michelle brought us a White House campaign for fitness with Beyonce, advocated for the education of girls, around the world, was a driving force in every Barack Obama election, then stepped out on the trail for Hillary. She made a sacrifice for her husband to ascend the presidency, putting herself into a role that took her out of corporate leadership and into an unpaid role that required great discipline. On this day after tomorrow, as we have watched the grace walk out, well, at the moment, nothing is moving in behind her because Melania realized ain't no check for the first lady and she didn't marry a man 24 years older than her. Looks like a half melted orange sickle to do work for free. But again, on this day after tomorrow, here's my thank you to Michelle Obama for standing beside and backing up in love Barack for being an inspiration to so many young black girls who are constantly told that they are to this, that, or whatever to be great, for putting up with heightened criticism, standing tall and firm in your greatness, for that indignant smirk you turned your head to cast as you greeted Melania, deeply felt by every, every black woman in this nation. You know that feeling of holding it together for the greater good. And thank you for giving us all access to a piece of your magic for the free. I, and I believe we, we all love you. Thank you, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Girl.
You look so good. 